George, uh, you mentioned like we know you have done hundreds of redundant systems. Also, you have worked for major banks. What's the difference between a backup system and a redundant system? Uh, the redundant solution is uh, favorable if you don't want to lose money. That's the bottom line. Which is important for all the service providers, exactly. basically. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you want business continuity. You want. Uh, if you have a, just a backup system, uh, it takes time for that backup system to come up. It takes uh, can go from uh, four to eight hours until everything works as as uh, did before. However, with uh, and you also can lose data. Because when one system goes down, your backup system doesn't have really all the data over. With the replication of the databases we implemented, it's that they are both are master replication, so they have each data within a couple of seconds. So the, what you lose, it's maybe one or two calls while it's failing over. So uh, serviceability means that you can. Uh, Whatever happens on one uh, environment can easily replicate over to the second one and switch over to the second one. Th this makes it um, reliable for the customer. And for the provider of voice over IP, it's, it's, uh, uh, they don't lose revenue. Um, technically, it's, it's, uh, since 2001, 9-11, has this been approached in ma major institutions? to keep the, their business going because today you, you often have a 24-7 system and uh, you lose revenue very quick because people all over the world are using uh, uh, telephony 24-7 like the big telecom companies. So it's no different between the big telecom companies which invested a lot of money in redundancy. Um, the requirement for redundancy here, comparing to big telecom, is, is very marginal comparing uh, the price that you pay because hardware prices have uh, fallen significantly and um, uh, the whole system is, can be set up in two, three days. Yeah, three days. And uh, so the customer, with testing and everything, we can hand it over to the customer so they can have it in production. Right. Actually makes perfect sense. Uh, end users have the option to choose the best service provider. So definitely they would look for a system that is more reliable. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I have this question for William and then George can actually continue on the database side. How do a customer uh, set up a redundant system? So if somebody has ordered a system, should they order that right away when they purchase a platform from IP Smarts or if they are already in business? how do they set up a redundant system, what a downturn they would experience, and just give us some more information about the whole Absolutely. process, please. First and foremost, because uh, I'm coming from the support background, I'm dealing with customers when things go wrong usually. That's why I've seen so many cases of hard disk failures and let's say operating system failures. Maybe if you're talking with a customer over the phone usually, they have seen only one or two cases uh, in the technical background, but because this is my job, I've seen it like 200 times a, a month, right? It happens all the time. That's why I strongly recommend our customers to, to go with, recommend it, with this redundant solution. Uh, as George mentioned, backup solutions are usually called offline redundant solutions. That means you already have one level of redundancy, but that's in your offline area. You have to make it online, and that online process usually takes between four to eight hours and also again as George mentioned it's very important that you lose part of your data and in telecom and in let's say uh, call records even that few hours is almost uh, very very important you cannot ignore it so what I wanted to add uh, on that note is if, if you're using a backup system uh, you definitely have to look after something like a live redundant or fault tolerant system the benefit is your customers, they don't, you don't want them to experience that uh, your system is down and then you have to take time to basically restore those backups that you have and then they realize that their account balance is not the latest one that it was and you will get to, you will get to so many problems with your customers. So you don't want that. That's why we strongly recommend replication as opposed to backup solution. You're the senior uh, DBA for IP Smarts. You manage the database admins in the company. Why uh, 
why doesn't the support team do the installation of a redundant system for when it gets to the database? When it comes to the database, systems are very complex to manage. Uh, to set it up it needs a lot of um, uh, settings and parameters. Uh, you have to know when to take the backup from the primary system and what, what point in time you can recover it to the secondary. It's not just taking a backup and recover it because they are totally out of sync. So that's why you need uh, specialist uh, knowledge to, to handle this type of thing. Very interesting.